Good afternoon. Well, that thing does work well. Kind of a surprise coming out of that little box over there. Sounds, sounds perfect because we're getting a lot of echo in here too. Um, good afternoon and thank you all for coming. My name is Andy Horn. I work for the County of Imperial. And I was, um, after a lot of training, uh, selected to be the uh, Master of Ceremonies. I found out about this about 9 o'clock this morning. <laughs> so um, I appreciate the opportunity to be here for such a distinguished group of people. We're here to celebrate and commemorate the uh, signing of a Memorandum of Understanding between Imperial and Riverside County uh, regarding a beautiful body of water that's right out there in the back of us here, the Salton Sea. And the two counties have been working diligently for many years, uh, primarily through the uh, Joint Power Authority of the Salton Sea Authority. We'll hear, hear more about the authority in a bit. Um, on finding some solutions for the sea, and the supervisors that uh, approved this uh, believe that having the two counties come together and work more closely on this uh, project uh, would yield some benefits. So we're going to hear about that from the uh, people that made it happen uh, and, uh, and a lot more about the Salton Sea and what the two counties are doing to, uh, to help this body of water. Um, we have uh, for us today, and by the way, I didn't see anybody. We had refreshments here, but poor Alejandra's over there trying to keep the uh, keep it from all blowing away, so be sure to help yourself some of that before you leave. Um, so we have a number of dignitaries here um, to, uh, to help us commemorate this uh, historic event, and we're going to hear from them. But before we get started, I want to introduce a couple of people that I thought uh, uh, we should, and I'm sure I'll always miss somebody when, um, when, we, when we do something like this, but my boss, Mr. Tony Rahotis from the County Executive Officer from the County of Imperial is back there in the blue jacket. And I want to recognize him. And also George Johnson, who's the CEO for Riverside County, is also joining us here today. So I want to thank them for coming. And without further ado, I'm going to introduce my real boss, uh, the Chairman of the Imperial County Board of Supervisors, Mr. Ray Castillo. Brazo, brazo, brazo. <laughs> Thank, thank you, Andy. Um, well, before I start, I'd like to recognize my colleagues from the Imperial County Board of Supervisors, starting to my left, uh, Mike Kelly. <laughs> Ryan Kelly, Supervisor Ryan Kelly. <laughs> Supervisor John Renison. <laughs> and Supervisor Luis Blancarte. Well, it's certainly a pleasure and an honor to be here. You know, this event has been a long time, way, way overdue, I think, so I am really glad to be part of this historic event today. Uh, this travertine project is what really made this happen, what brought this all together. Uh, it's been a project in the making stuff for several years, and I think the county took part in entitling the uh, portion that's in the county of Imperial about five years ago. So uh, it's slow progress, but we're getting there little by little. Uh, the, what the Travertine project is gonna do, I think uh, the Salton Sea, as we all know, poses a serious environmental and public health risk to both counties. So by working together, both counties, we can help mitigate some of those uh, serious environmental effects that are taking place. Uh, Imperial and, and Riverside have been working on solutions for the sea for many years, and this is just one step in the right direction to make sure that we continue to work in that direction. It's uh, looking forward to the development uh, this this area. I mean, I've traveled to Northern California for many, many years. Uh, I'm Highway 111 and 86, and the, all you see is farming, but I'm glad to see that I think it's about time that we start using the resource, which is the Salton Sea, a terrific body of water. And with the restoration that is gonna take place, uh, see all the amenities that are coming there, housing, recreation. Uh, I think we're going back to the past, as we all know, back in the 40, the 50s, I understand Salton Sea was a very, very popular recreational area for those residents, that, the people that reside in Riverside, San Bernardino, and Los Angeles counties. So I think it could be that great 
recreational area once again and i'm hoping that this agreement that we're going to sign is a beginning to that and however long it takes us but we we have to stick with it and we're to redo and restore the salt sea i think it's the greatest thing we could do for our communities so with that i, I want to thank all of you for being here today and uh later you'll witness the signing of this historic um, agreement between both counties thank you very much Thank you, Ray. So there's one of the two counties that was involved in this uh, MOU, and the other one is sitting right next to him, and that is uh, Manuel Perez from the County of Riverside, Supervisor of District 4. Thank you. Good morning. Buenos dias. Just get my notes out here. Thank you for this opportunity as well, and Welcome to this important signing of our first two-county memorandum of understanding on the Salt Sea, and I'm honored to be here with Imperial County 5th District Supervisor and Chairman, Mr. Ray Castillo, as well as Imperial County 4th District, Mr. Ryan Kelly, as well as Mike Kelly, Luis Bancarte, and John Renison. And although my colleagues are not here, uh, they are definitely in support of our efforts. I just want to make sure that I state that fact. Uh, they wholeheartedly agree and believe in our efforts when it comes to the Sound Sea. I'd like to thank staff as well who worked on the MOU. Uh, my Deputy Chief of Staff, Pat Cooper, who's back there. Say hi, Pat. Our Assistant Deputy CEO, Mr. Brian Estani, he couldn't make it here today. He's representing me at another function. Uh, Imperial County Staff Deputy County Executive Officer Andy Horn for his great work as well. Thank you, Andy. Intergovernmental, Intergovernmental Relations Director Rebecca Terrazas Baxter. I want to thank you, Becky, for the good work you've done as well. And I want to thank our CEO, Mr. Uh, George Johnson, for Riverside County and supporting our efforts as well. I also see uh, Emmanuel Martinez. I think he's here on behalf of IID. Also, Cita Coachella represented. Where are you, Manuel? No, there you are. There he is, Manuel. Thank you for being here. Uh, Stella Jimenez, representing uh, Assembly Member Eduardo Garcia. Gracias. Gracias, Stella. Tomas Olivas, representing uh, Senator Juan Vargas. I'm sorry, Congressman Juan Vargas. Thank you. Thank you for being here, Tomas. And Mario Renteria, uh, here representing Senator Wessel. Thank you as well, Mario, for being here on his behalf. I also want to say a thank you to our host, uh, Juan de Lara and Federated Mutual Insurance Group, uh, for their hospitality and for their ongoing support and efforts to help ensure a healthy and vibrant Sound Sea. And thank you for the tour uh, as well, uh, Juan, and uh, for showing us your man cave that you have up there on the third floor. I appreciate that. You know, I, I, I'd be remiss if I didn't mention my former staffer, who now works for the Congressman, Raul Ruiz, Jackie. Thank you for being here. And, uh, you know, this is timely, interestingly enough. Uh, a year ago, uh, I was actually having a press conference with the Greater Palm Springs Convention and Visitors Bureau. Uh, it was at this time. And I definitely appreciate the work as well of Scott White and his team. And uh, they released this report exactly a year ago in December, revitalizing the Salton Sea. And I just thought it was important that we recognize the CVB as well because they have been steadfast in their support of restoration of the Salton Sea. And, you know, they released this report because they wanted to let us know about the economic impacts and the degradation of the Salton Sea, what that would mean. Uh, that would cost us, the Coachella region, between $1.3 billion to $6.5 billion in lost tourism over five years. And what that also means, that's 3,200 jobs lost in that same period. Obviously, this is aside from the fact of the environmental concerns uh, that were mentioned earlier by Supervisor Ray Castillo, a vital stop for migratory birds on the Pacific Flyway, for example. Aside from the facts of the public health and the social determinants of health, you know, the lowering water elevations and exposed, exposed playa uh, pose harm 
to human health and lead to air quality concerns. And, and obviously that's the reason why we're here as well. We're here to make sure we, we deal with, with these concerns. And I also would be remiss if I didn't mention Patrick O'Dowd, who's here on behalf of the Chavada Water District, because he'll be working with us and making these things happen. So Patrick, thank you for being here as well. Now, I have been engaged in efforts on behalf of the Solon Sea for many years. As a state assembly member, uh, I authored Solon Sea governance legislation known as AB 71. That was in 2013, which required the state to work in partnership with the local jurisdictions of the Solon Sea Authority. Uh, related legislative efforts funded a feasibility study to develop a framework of realistic and achievable projects. The Financial Feasibility Action Plan became the basis for the state's Salton Sea Management Plan, which is also known as the state's 10-year plan. It has been a long journey to get to this point. Many other lawmakers and local leaders have pushed forward on the Salton Sea issue. We are standing on many shoulders before us. Congress members George Brown, uh, Sonny Bono, uh, Mary Bono, Assembly Member Brian Standy, Senator Jim Batten, Senator Jeff Stone, Senator Denise DeCheney, Supervisors Corky Larson, Supervisor Roy Wilson, Supervisor Marion Ashley, and the late John Benoit. Many of these past lawmakers brought us to where we are today. These past lawmakers, along with our current lawmakers, made the Salt Sea issue their top legislative priority, and we are grateful to them. And I want to give a special thank you to Assemblymember Eduardo Garcia, uh, for all his efforts, and I want to make sure that uh, you deliver that message to him, you know, for consistently including uh, the locals. Uh, you know, he organized a meeting in Sacramento with all of us as stakeholders with Governor Brown. You know, he committed to the Salt Sea Management Plan and continued the efforts of AB 71, and also continued to work on finding funding. His leadership on Proposition 68 a $4.1 billion, billion dollar bond measure. That's very important uh, as we continue the work of the Salton Sea. So, you know, please deliver that message uh, to him, Stella, that we appreciate his work. Um, it has not been an easy journey for Imperial Riverside counties. Uh, we have not always been on the same page. Uh, there are times when we've had different agendas and different views on the plan for the sea. Uh, but those days are, are over as of today. Uh, today we are in agreement on how we move forward at this crucial moment on the Salton Sea. In January of this year, I announced the North Lake concept to protect the northern shore of the Salton Sea, which lies in Riverside County. We laid out a vision for the Salton Sea, an exciting and significant opportunity for our region's future that we are calling the North Lake Plan. This announcement brought further conversation with Imperial County Supervisor Ryan Kelly and the desire to work collaboratively. And I appreciate the work of, of Supervisor Kelly because he came up to me and to staff and said, let's work on this together. Let's make this happen. And we should. And we should, and it's the right thing to do. Especially knowing that folks from the Sun City area were also concerned about the Prairie Lake and, and them not being included. So I'm really happy that we're here when it comes to that effort. This MOU is to recognize and formalize the County of Imperial County and the County of Riverside as cooperative partners and to support common goals to further sound sea stabilization, revitalization, and management efforts as well as the development potential of the sound sea. On June 26, 2018, both Imperial County and Riverside County Board of Supervisors officially passed this MOU resolution. And by the way, we also included and worked on making sure that all our cities we're also in support of this MOU. So I'm really happy to announce that not only Imperial County, but Riverside County as well was able to make that happen. This MOU represents good faith commitments and common goals which are being made in the spirit of cooperation and collaboration to benefit the Salton Sea. So let me, let me just read a few of the whereas's. That way you understand what we're talking about here. Whereas it is, the, it is the desire of the County of Imperial and the County of Riverside to work together in a collaborative manner and support common goals to further Salton Sea restoration and management efforts as well as the development potential of the Salton Sea. And whereas it is in the intent of both parties to take coordinated and cooperative action to further stabilize the Salton Sea on such restoration efforts 
which would protect and improve public health, air quality, and wildlife habitat. And whereas it is the desire and intent of both parties to work together on agreed projects and financing mechanisms, such as an enhanced infrastructure financing district that would support projects and stimulate economic development around the sea. And whereas both parties recognize and support the immense value of working together to enhance opportunities for renewable energy and geothermal development to the region of providing reliable, affordable energy and furtherance of the state's renewable portfolio standard and greenhouse gas reduction goals and could provide funding for sound sea infrastructure. And whereas the parties are supportive of the perimeter lake concept and desire to have the perimeter lake incorporated into the state's SSMP long-term plan, and whereas the parties support the common goal of a locally managed and more efficient process to expedite projects at the Salton Sea to avert a further decline at the Salton Sea. This MOU sends a message to our state and federal partners that the locals are united and committed to progress at the Salton Sea. We are no longer waiting. Riverside County is moving forward with the North Lake Plan an enhanced infrastructure financing district financing mechanism to assist in funding this plan. I recently brought forth the creation of the EIFD's Public Financing Authority Board and the Riverside County Board of Supervisors approved this next step. Our Imperial County friends are also moving forward on their EIFD. In closing, my hope is that the next generation can enjoy the sea. There is momentum and a renewed commitment we can provide a safe and stable Salton Sea, as well as economic and tourism opportunities. I am proud to be a part of the current action at the Salton Sea, and I hope, am hopeful and encouraged as the Salton Sea enters a new chapter. Knowing that we need to accelerate our progress and move this along with a sense of urgency, I also want to make it clear that we have next steps. We're not obviously done yet. We need to continue to advocate at the state and federal level and work with Assemblymember Eduardo Garcia, as well as Congressman Raul Ruiz, to ensure that the policies and programs that we want to see here locally are enacted. And at the same time, to ensure that we find the funding that's necessary. Uh, recently, I had a meeting with Assemblymember Eduardo Garcia, and we agreed uh, to clarify a few items. One was to clarify a true accounting of the bond monies from all the measures that have been passed, uh, to integrate the perimeter lake model the North Lake Plan into the Salton Sea Management Plan. And we would also would like to meet with the governor, the governor-elect, uh, Mr. Gavin Newsom, and invite him to come visit us here. And so he can tour the Salton Sea and we can have him provide him a bird's eye view of our concerns and what we see here as well. And so, ladies and gentlemen, I just want to say thank you so much. I'm very proud to have Imperial County as an MOU partner and look forward to working in a supportive and collaborative manner. And I also just want to thank Mr. Phil Rosentrader for all the good work and your team as well uh, on these efforts for so many years. Muchas gracias. Thank you. Adelante. So as I think you've heard, the um, goals of the two counties are rather broad and ambitious in regards to the salt and sea. Our next speaker is going to explain why he hasn't gotten all these goals accomplished. <laughs> and, and that's going to be the pleasure of... Oh, he's standing there. I didn't, I didn't know you moved up behind me. I shouldn't have been so... Uh, anyway, uh, Mr. Phil Rosentrader is going to speak to us. He's the uh, general manager of the Salton Sea Authority that I mentioned earlier, and that's the uh, JPA that's working on Salton Sea issues. Phil? Thank you. It's a real privilege and a joy to be here today on this particular occasion. It, it is monumental, but it is not the first time monumental progress has been made by the leaders sitting here and others who realized early on that decades of inaction at the Salt Sea can be traced in part to a disunity and a lack of cohesion, a lack of unified voice here at the Salton Sea. I want to commend in particular the leaders from IID in Imperial County who realized 
They had a lawsuit that was separating them on issues that uh, were being dragged into discussions on revitalization at Salt Sea. This is years ago. They decided, they realized, we can't have a conversation about the time of day without lawyers present on these other issues. We're never going to get to the more complicated issues of common plans and projects and cooperative funding strategies. Those leaders set aside those differences. You know, there are differences that are going to separate us, uh, each one of us, and each agency. Uh, we may never agree upon those, but one thing we must agree upon is that this challenge here, this multifaceted challenge, that proposes one of the, potentially the worst human health disaster in the United States, and the worst ecological disaster in the United States simultaneously, also offering one of the greatest opportunities. You heard about the legacy of the recreation here, California's number one recreational tourist destination, exceeding Yosemite in number of visitors. That wasn't fantasy or hyperbole, that was reality back in the day. And now we also realize we have America's renewable energy powerhouse, the largest, most diverse renewable energy portfolio anywhere in North America, here in and around the Salton Sea. These are opportunities that should be harnessed. We'll never get to that point of having that conversation, that complicated conversation about how we integrate those resources into a solution that addresses the challenges that we just mentioned, the human health and the habitat. We must deal with this together with the opportunities. And this discussion today, this action we're taking today has its roots in leaders who realize the only way to get to that point is to bring solidarity here at the local level that can then leverage the folks in Sacramento and hopefully bring unity at that level so that we can in turn pivot to the feds who have been sitting on the sidelines but have public trust responsibilities, land ownership, a multitude of reasons that why they should be investing too, but they haven't yet. They, they're going to because this kind of action today, this MOU that brings together land use, planning cooperation, setting the stage for financing strategies that involve all of the partners around the Salt Sea, this is what is so important about moving ahead. I also want to hark back to one of my first conversations when Supervisor Perez was Assemblyman Perez. One of his comments in Sacramento to me was, uh, I hear various versions of plans and they don't match. There's often conflict, some confusion. If policymakers in Sacramento are supposed to take a position, you folks need to get together and determine a common path. And that struck me, it, it, it still guides my thoughts today. And you can see why Suleiman Perez then followed up by creating AB 71, a piece of legislation that requires the California Natural Resources Agency to work in cooperation and consultation with the Salton Sea Authority in revitalization of the Salton Sea. That driving piece of legislation has led and drawn the locals together, but it's also pulled the state together. A state that would, I think, honestly, just as soon uh, keep this whole issue at, at arm's length and not have to uh, worry about the liabilities and the costs involved. We have an approach now that, that uh, in keeping with the guiding principles adopted by the Salt Sea Board of Directors, number one principle, assert local leadership. In past years, there was a tendency to point the finger at the state, say, state, this is your problem, you forced us into this, solve it. These leaders here have realized we begin to solve that more productively by engaging the state as a unified force and to be proactive, not to simply let the state dictate the terms to us, but rather assess what we have as resources here locally, working with the Salt and Sea Authority that's the two counties, the two major water importing agencies, Coachella Valley Water District and Imperial Irrigation District, and major landowners, the Torres Martinez Tribe. This nexus of local governance is very effective and essential for the state to carry out its mission. So we continually remind them of that. 
and we hold them accountable while also being proactive, asserting local leadership with plans that make sense, the local priorities, and tap into the local opportunities that can be part of this solution, the opportunities in recreation, and the opportunities in renewable energy, and beyond. Those are just the starters, but those are the big ones. We don't get to a larger vision of a restored, healthy, and prosperous Salton Sea unless we take those steps. That's why this ceremony today is so important. That's why the leaders here at this table are deserving of our respect and appreciation. I'd like, just like to say uh, we have a bright future ahead of us. When we come together to bring a unity at the agreement level that then translates into feasible plans, and we have projects that are that make sense from an engineering and a technical standpoint and from a water supply standpoint we then begin to have a conversation about real funding the salt sea is now receiving funding at a level we've never had before because of that continual agreement to work together we have pulled in as, uh, as uh, supervisor perez has mentioned 80 million 80.5 million dollars in the state coffers for prop one followed up with that prop 68 another 200 million that's on top of monies that have already been pulled in but this is money that now to be deployed for projects if we're successful in what we're doing here today i believe we can leverage this influence starting with the counties expanding to the water agencies and the tribes and the cities across Imperial and, River, and Riverside counties, a unified front at the local level, we will have the strength to make sure that this designs here at the Salton Sea, funded by those state bonds, make sense for the locals and go beyond the minimalist approach that does simply covers dust and habitat but does not create a stronger, reliable financial feasibility here for the locals in the future. We have opportunities we've never had before. I want to thank each and every one of these leaders here today for the, the uh, spirit of unity and compromise, willingness to be patient and steadfast in pressing forward for a healthier, prosperous salt sea. Thank you, Phil. I want to deviate a little bit from the program, uh, just because his name has already been mentioned, uh, but uh, Patrick O'Dowd is here from the Coachella Valley Water District. He's, I believe, the current uh, chairman of the uh, Salton Sea Authority. And then, Patrick, would you like to come up and share your thoughts and help us understand why we're here today, <laughs> from your point of view? Thank you. I actually am the immediate past president of the Salton Sea Authority Board. Uh, Tom Tortez is currently serving as the Salton Sea Authority president. And, uh, and I, I actually uh, am here on behalf, I, I serve on the Salton Sea Authority Board, I've served on it for the last four years. And watching the, uh, the group come together over the last four years and watching things actually forming has been quite a, 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 a blessing to participate in. I think this is a big day, and I think this is an, uh, a big deal. Uh, the, you know, the history of the seas, Coachella Valley Water District has been involved with the Salt Sea Authority for over 25 years, and we've been working together with our partners trying to address the concerns of the sea, but it's been difficult over that time trying to implement projects at the sea and identify projects and get funding. And part of that is because everybody's got their own objectives and and what we found over the last four years since I've been involved is we are better together and and finding the commonalities and finding the synergies of working together on projects enhances our ability to uh, more more specifically envision those projects find the funding for those projects and have them actually become realized the first of which that we've we've recently completed with the Torres Martinez track the Torres Martinez wetlands but, but uh, Coachella Valley Water District board uh, passed a resolution back in August supporting this, uh, this effort of uh, collaboration between the two counties and think that it's a very important part 
of how the sea will transition from what it once was to what it can become. Uh, I, I just want to say that I associate with myself with all the comments that were made before. I don't want to repeat them, uh, but think that this is a, a big day, a big deal, and I'm proud to be a part of it. Thank you. Well, the secret, thank you, Pedro. The secret to being a, a successful MC in an event like this is to have flexibility. And so, to demonstrate that, I'm now going to call on Supervisor from Imperial County from District 4, uh, Ryan Kelly. Uh, Ryan's district incorporates all of the Salton Sea in Imperial County, so he has a particular uh, point of view on this. Uh, Subject and uh, also serves on the Salton Sea Authority Board. All right? Hey, I had not intended to say anything, but um, thinking about from the comments from Supervisor Perez and uh, Director O'Dowd, um, I wanted to tell a story that is relevant to what we're doing today. So I am Ryan Kelly, District 4, Imperial County, and I do represent the communities and population that live around and on the Salton Sea. Um, I want to tell you a story about a napkin. In uh, 2015, uh, Matt Desert, who's here, was a IID director with Jim Hanks and Bruce Wilcox, who at the time was an employee of IID and about to go to work for the state. We met at an Inferno restaurant, and on a napkin, the concept of a perimeter lake was uh, scribbled out and at the idea or at the onset I was a little hesitant but it wore on me. It was shared with uh, Supervisor Benoit who unfortunately uh, will not be able to to see this development happen but uh, he was very engaged in that conversation and, and championed it for it very early. Uh, and then another napkin. Uh, as Supervisor Perez mentioned after a Salt and Sea Authority meeting, I uh, came over to him and I said, uh, do you have time for lunch? And he did. And Pat joined us, and Brian, uh, Andy, Tony. We went to Celia's in El Centro. And on a napkin, we, could, we refocused the conversation. Uh, Supervisor Perez had already come out strong for, let's do something North Lake, Riverside focus. I was trying to pivot him back towards Perimeter Lake, all conversations about a total Perimeter Lake, being able to drop a boat at Poe Road and being able to take it all the way to Bombay Beach. And uh, that's where uh, the tail of the napkin leads to an MOU and also a gathering today. So um, I'm, I'm happy to be able to share it with you and I'm happy that we're working together to meet these goals. Thank you, Ryan. As uh, Supervisor Kelly mentioned, I was there, so I can <laughs> testify to part of the story, but I can tell you it wasn't my napkin, because my napkin had guacamole and salsa on it, and uh, there wouldn't have been uh, enough room to write anything on it. Um, so, now we'll get back to the uh, order that we have here in the agenda, and so, uh, unfortunately, uh, uh, our state assembly member, Eduardo Garcia, could not be here today. But um, to his credit, he sent his district director, Stella Jimenez, here. And Stella's here, and she's going to come up and say a few words. Stella? Good afternoon. It's a pleasure to be here today on behalf of Assemblymember Eduardo Garcia as we celebrate this historic signing of the Memorandum of Understanding between the counties of Imperial and Riverside. Assemblymember Garcia wants to start by thanking the architects of this agreement. Supervisors Ryan Kelly, John Renison from the County of Imperial, and from the County of Riverside, Supervisor V. Manuel Perez, and Marion Ashley. This MOU is a clear sign of both counties 
commitment to the public health and environment issues surrounding the salt and sea in addition to these counties assembly member garcia would like to take would like to think other agencies who have passed resolutions in support of the same o u the imperial irrigation district the salt and sea authority the coachella water district and the tribal council for torres martinez moving forward both counties are looking at enhanced infrastructure financing districts to generate further funds for projects in each pers perspective county and by working together assuring the projects complement each other and the ten year plan over the last few years we have made many strides in regards to the salton sea and it is reassuring to see that there is support for further action at every level of government. In the state specifically, we have been able to secure $80 million for the 10-year plan in the 2016-17 fiscal years and an additional $20 million that the voters approved this June through Proposition 68. The Salton Sea remains a priority for Assemblymember Garcia, who is committed to secure additional funding to help support the Salton Sea Authority in any shovel-ready projects. Without a doubt, we still have a lot of work to do, but this MOU exemplifies the level of cooperation that will help us get where we need to be. Thank you, and let's continue to move forward towards our goal of a healthier Salton Sea. Thank you. Thank you, Stella. Uh, the next on our program, we have from Congressman Raul Ruiz's office, who represents the uh, Congress in the, in the Coachella Valley, we have uh, uh, Jackie Lopez, a district director for Congressman Ruiz. Thank you. Thank you for allowing me to speak briefly to you on behalf of Dr. Raul Ruiz in support of this very important milestone for our communities. The MOU continues um, our incremental progress to tackle the decline of the Salton Sea as a team, working together at all levels of government to get results. Dr. Reese unfortunately couldn't be here, be here himself, but he wanted me to thank you all for your hard work on the details of this MOU and for each county's commitment to preventing a public health and environmental emergency. Please know that our office is here to be your voice at the federal level, and please don't hesitate to reach out to us to be any of assistance. I know that the doctor's looking forward. Um, we just recently sent out um, a delegation with other Congress members to urge our new governor to come out here in the next six months, and really looking forward, really excited that our supervisor um, is gonna be leading that effort. So again, on behalf of Congressman Raul Reese, we'd just like to say congratulations. Thank you. So those are all the people that I know of that uh, had uh, requested time to speak. If any of well, this is open mic day here <laughs> at the Salton Sea. If anybody else would like to get up and, and say a few uh, words. Uh, if not, then I think we'll move on to the uh, formal part of our program, which will be the ceremonial signing of the MOU. Now, I don't know who's got it, uh, but somewhere around here is a piece of paper. Blanca, have you got the? Have you got it? Here she comes. Oh, it's in here. Well, somebody's going to have to uh, explain to me how this works. Do you want to take care of that, Rebecca? Is that it? We have the uh, pins here. Each one of you has a, a ceremonial souvenir pin. Walter, are you going to take over from here? This part of it, nobody explained to me this part of it. Here, so. You don't want the microphone? Walter, would you like to say a few words? No?
Well, that concludes the, uh, the ceremony.